did not know how to respond other than did you try using love and light on these beings to stop them? And the gentleman said, there is no amount of love and light to stop them. And he was brought to me and I said to him, if, you, if love and light and all these religious different things people say, uh, send the, the power of the Christ energy to them, doesn't work. Perhaps they are of the light. And all of a sudden I was downloaded with information that just blew me away. And I found out there is a number of thousands upon thousands of Syrian warriors of light that are on this planet now that have the ability with the alien technology to protect the light workers, not only to protect them, they will kill them if they have to and they are, are designed to go up against the superhumans and you would not believe what they are doing. I have been shown the Stargates, as I know you guys know about the Stargates. What's going to happen on the Stargates, you know about that. I'm not touching that one. Okay, all right. I do know about the Stargate. Okay, well, I've been shown what's going to happen in the future. But I have to tell you, you have to trust in the Syrian warriors of light. They are here for a purpose. Many of them are just beginning to wake up. They also have with them, besides the army, that's going to help fight against the superhumans, they also have people, including a 13-year-old girl I met, who literally can do hands-on healing. And she is also Syrian. They're waking up. They're getting ready. They're preparing. And they said, there's an urgency now, now to wake up. And we all need to put our own light and love behind them and with them. Because we are, we're going to have a hard job. It's going to be very hard, but we can do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, thank you for being here. Um, my question, you mentioned yesterday on the panel um, one of the positive things that you were doing to kind of just for the next year, you had mentioned music, but you had just mentioned that you don't watch television or anything like that or movies. So, and I, I understand that your, your training was probably trauma based, but there is music triggers as well. So I'm just curious as to, is there any music that you can't or if anything has happened, if you have listened to any music? Uh, what I was doing yesterday was using, um, I think what I said about uh, if the government controls uh, alien ET disclosure, that we're not going to like the music at that party. Got it. Uh, I was just using that as a Metaphor. comic reference. Um, but to answer your, your question fully, no, I, I watch very little TV. Uh, as far as music goes, I stick with classical. Um, I like Celtic music. That's about it. Okay. Yeah. True. Thank you. Duncan, uh, in light of the purpose and the whole way that Camelot works, which is to expose and to be protected by exposure of truth, have you guys thought about doing everything you could to get actual memories with dates, times, who was killed, where they were killed, and a, a list of it that would fully expose the program and could uh, have a, uh, yeah. That, in some respects, definitely, it would definitely help to expose, but it wouldn't entirely expose. Um, what we have been doing is basically put in, putting a call out for anyone who is involved in these projects to get in touch with us. And that, as I have made reference to with uh, people over this, this weekend, my group, that's my group. We're all past um, unwilling participants in one project or another with this. Um, 
So we're trying to come together, and by coming together and talking and putting all this together, that's how we're getting the dates, the places, and every, everything combined. What a lot of people have to understand is that they may remember an event at one time. I'll remember the exact same event with a different date. Then we'll have someone else who was also part of this exact same event, but they remember it at an entirely different date. And that is done because when the memory is repressed into the altered personality, you're told it happened at this date. But if you could check it against the actual record. That's, then that's, that's what we do. That's right. why I said earlier, I don't talk about anything as fact unless I have three points of reference in fact. I do the same thing. Well, it seems to me uh, people coming up and saying I was this part of the program without being able to show what was actually done will, will bring people more into the awareness for this exposure. I have a question for you. What's your memory of what happened two hours ago? What's your memory of what happened two hours ago? It's very good. Are you sure? Yeah. It's different than mine is. Yeah. I but does that make that. yours any the less true? There is a physical... Does it make your memory of what happened two hours ago any less true than what mine is? Yes or no? I'm not talking about our memories. I'm talking about checking it against physical universe facts. I'm asking, I'm setting this, I'm going to give you an example here if you'll just bear with me. Yes okay. or no, does it change yours, your perception of what happened two hours ago? Yes or no? I actually wouldn't judge my perception that way. I would judge it by checking You it have not answered my question. All right. <laughs> the question is this, what happened two hours ago in your perception of what the world is and my perception of what the world is, are they the same? No, they're not. Does that make, by that, by your admission, does that make yours any the less valid? It doesn't make either one valid or invalid to me. Thank you. You have answered your question. The, the fact is, is that basically what happens, it also a lot depends on the age of the individual when they, the memory comes back. And as I said, they also screw with the memories when they repress them and push them back into the alternate. And they will, in that memory, screw with the dates. Right. Okay? right. Now, as to what you were alluding to also, is just because someone contacts us and says, I was in part of this project or this project, does that make it so? No, it doesn't. They have to go through our own little testing process to see if they really were or they weren't. Um, but to, to finish up with why we have the different perceptions on dates, we really don't have a correct answer, but we'll, there'll be a dozen of us. We'll remember the exact same event, the exact same people there, but we'll remember it. I'll remember it, say, spring. He'll remember it, say, the winter. But yet the event's the same. The uh -huh. year will be different, the month will be different. I understand. It just seemed to me that checking it against a historical record that is in okay. public domain would have I gotta do this. some effect. The problem with that is there's a reason these are called black operations. <laughs> they ain't supposed to happen. There are no, well, there are records, but none that we're going to be able to take and look at. So we can't, we can't do that. 